here is I am going to make another video and this should be the video I am going to dedicate to the Ukrainian government. I am going to dedicate this video. I'm making a plea to Ukrainian bloggers, to Ukrainian independent news outlets. Foremost to you is the plea I'm making. Today, I stress the issues about European Union. I stress the issues about United States of America. I stress the issues about their God. It's now to take what you see here further. I stress the issues on why European, on why Ukraine should not be accepted into European Union. I stress the issues to European Union member states. I stress the issues to Ukrainian people why it's in their best interest not join Ukraine with European Union grant one membership inside of the European Union now. These are two brilliant videos I have done for you to understand, warn against West and warn West against potential misuse also from the special interests located inside of the Ukraine. Without any doubt, this kind of interests rule Ukraine. There is absolutely no doubt about it. And are closely associated, aligned also with London, with Washington DC and other interests that advertise themselves as the biggest donators to Ukraine. This is a very good video. I have clarified exactly all the issues and why this is not the time for Ukraine to join to European Union. Now, there is one thing I definitely have not outlined. There is one thing I definitely have not done. To, I did not do enough to warn about the issue. And I want to clarify one now. Uh, when presenting you with this videos here, I wasn't sure on how to view Zelensky is. But I know that if I'm not going to be posting the following video, which I am going to dedicate to his presidency, I know for a fact that I will regret deeply. And not posting one, Ukrainian people would not understand and here I'm talking to the bloggers, independent media news outlets throughout Ukraine, truly what they should be in search for in respect to Zelensky's presidency. I did outline certain issues in this video right here, and this is the third video here, because Zelensky really started to get my attention when for three weeks, most of the time, what he would do is he would point the finger at Gaza, claiming that all the eyes are off Ukraine. All the eyes are off Ukraine. Well, it raised my suspicion because of the issue I have listed here. It's the issue that concerns Ukraine, which borders with Russia stalled since January of 2023, therefore did not change for entire 11 months, even a bit. These are the same borders, uh, the same occupation line between Russia and Ukraine. Ukraine did not manage to make any kind of progress really in respect to this border. And yes, I point out here that Ukraine is being left behind. Ukraine did not receive the weapons that otherwise should be granted in case of war, Russian war, Russian aggression on Finland or Sweden, which also just recently became a NATO members. It would not be responded in the same way. It would be responded in a totally different way 
and I did best possible to actually avoid responsibility from Zelensky. However, I believe that you must pay very close attention to my video. To Ukrainian government, I would even say, for those of you that watch this whole thing, when I say this whole thing, negotiated war, from the neutral point of view, just like I do, I like making assumptions, but be prepared to take whatever it takes to protect your national integrity, and that could as well as be arresting, issuing arrest warrant for the President Zelensky. Here is exactly why. President Zelensky raised my suspicion, as I stated, with pointing finger at Gaza. And he raised this suspicion in me because we were used to, and it's no less I demanded from Zelensky during MK Ultra procedure. I demanded from Zelensky during MK Ultra procedure to commit himself to complete 100% to complete liberation of Ukraine, every millimeter, every inch of Ukraine to be liberated. He presented himself during MK Ultra as someone who actually embraced this style of thinking, but I think that he is a manipulator and was not truthful, was not honest to his statements, which he reiterated, repeated throughout the entire Ukrainian presidency. And it's why I also tolerated one on how Ukraine will never stop the war till entire Ukraine is liberated. Well, during the siege on Gaza, this type of attitude ceased to exist, with Zelensky pointing finger at Gaza and super, super greatly lagging behind the needs which I have outlined. He should be continuously stressing to international community. Therefore, it became evident Ukraine started to even lag behind with ammunition, shells, and so on, without having the ability to catch it up with greater and greater Russian aggression on Ukraine, and also what became more and more modernized weapon Putin is using. I did outline certain issues in this video below. Uh, one of the worst issues to me personally, that uh, during this Gaza assault appeared on Ukrainian market, is actually Ukrainians fighting uh, on the front lines into a total oblivion, in total exhaustion, soldiers. This is something that is unforgivable, should never ever take place under the proper management. Um, this stalemate counter-offensive, if you like, that is not moving absolutely anywhere. Uh, misery. I can feel the misery in the in the in the in the soldiers that suffer. It's been uh, softened recently with also what I indicated above is invitation from the European side to Ukraine to join European membership. So they started to advertise uh, what Zelensky, uh, I am, I'm really, really shocked about this stuff because I've seen on the media that Zelensky started to talk about on November 9, um, actually, even uh, today, that he started to talk about that Ukraine is still capable of achievements, of military achievements on a battlefield. That's insane. 
uh, you need to answer to me. You, you need to think about how the hell we got from Gaza, uh, which prior to Gaza, it was about all about liberating entire Ukraine uh, with about offensive that must go and take full effect. We had, it was ran like this. Um, against what many estimated, even against all odds, because there was no enough weaponry. However, with a president that was doing nothing other than thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, did not raise concern about what exactly keep the picture updated, about what exactly is missing from the battlefield, how the battlefield should be more effective. I think this guy is a tool from the West. And this was the only way for him to eventually remain on the stage and it's completely negotiated control type of war that is being enforced pushed down the throat by the west zelensky is doing his part and that includes saving his skin with individuals like this here talking about uh, zelensky is a nazi it's rather you're taking away suspicion from Zelensky. You know, Zelensky, a Nazi doesn't make any fucking sense, but it does make sense to call him Nazi if you want to raise the suspicion about special interests persisting in Zelensky's presidency away from Zelensky. I don't like the part about Zelensky pointing at the Gaza, uh, claiming, as he did for the last three weeks, that attention is being redirected to Gaza, uh, that he needs attention and so on, because he was doing his best to compensate with lies for almost 10 months. Remember? We are at a stalemate since January of 2023. A stalemate did not start with war in Gaza. And so you cannot say, because of your assuring how you're on a good track in Ukraine, how you're doing, how you're liberating, how you're winning the war, you are not going to convince me that you lost the war within these three weeks. You cannot compensate for the lies that you used against people of Ukraine and against their supporters for the last 10 months, Mr. Zelensky. That's why I said to Ukrainian official, government official, to be even ready, if necessary, to get this guy arrested, because he is responsible for what goes on. And if it is so that you're no longer even too capable other than to maintain a border at stalemate with a Russia you need to find representative, a politician that will stress out on a daily basis what is necessary, what is happening. Basically, will lead the war with the Washington DC bureaucrats, liars in the Brussels for what it is and not take some kind of leftovers and, or I should say, in another words, cover up for Vladimir Putin in a negotiated war between the West and Russia against Ukraine. That's not a job of Ukrainian president. And that's why I also alerted in this video here for Ukrainian bloggers and independent media outlets, journalists to pay attention to this video. And if necessary, contact me. People do not around the world don't know really where we are at. Zelensky said some kind of issue that it's Ukrainian uh, it's Russian air defense that is down. Man, I haven't registered any kind of victories that would suggest that, that, that you, you took control of the Russian territory to the degree that, I don't know, nothing according to MK Ultra that, that that's actually happening. I don't see any kind of turnover. I don't see any kind of uh, anything that would give me something to assume that you're on a track with MKUltra, what appears to me more and more lies. You appear to me, sir, that you're not capable to compensate anymore 
for the damage that you caused to Ukraine during the last 10 months. This here, this is this is disaster here. This stuff here. This is I don't understand. I don't understand how you go from regaining entire Ukraine back, demanding, refusing to negotiate, which is exactly what I would expect from the Ukrainian president to still capable of battlefield achievements. We are not here for battle, uh, battlefield achievements, my friends. We are here for a total liberation of Ukraine, not for Ukrainian people to get murdered like they did in Mariupol, not for Ukrainian soldiers to get killed from exhaustions inside of the ditches. It's a collective war. It's a war. And it depends now on a nation how seriously is going to see one as, because these are the most critical moments. We obviously have a president here that is not accountable for his action to Ukrainian people, but instead to the special interests. He's doing basically a write-off for the Putin. Trade, which West committed itself to the Vladimir Putin, is what Zelensky is writing off. By taking the credit, we give you so much and so much and so much and so much. The only thing they're doing is basically they're creating a record on who gave what, but never, I'm not going to say too much, never anywhere, obviously, even near enough for Ukrainian troops to make advancement toward liberation of Ukraine. This is where the problem is. This is not a student loan. Ukraine is being demolished, destroyed. The best of the best were killed in Mariupol. Many were captured, are now being retrained by the Russian troops, and are returning to fight Ukraine with rage, angry, to retaliate for being betrayed, I assume. Because how the hell would you otherwise go and do something like this? This, ladies and gentlemen, could be the time that is decisive about Ukraine as per existing as a sovereign nation or becoming more and more demoralized country and finally be taken off from the list of the sovereign nations in return for some land colonialism basically in Africa or some other location around the world with the Russia. Just as I outlined, Ukrainian Union uh, membership inside the European Union is not going to make absolutely any kind of difference for Ukraine. It will worsen the situation. It will limit support for Ukraine. And it will go from the stalemate battle on a battlefield. It will be used to compel Ukrainian side into negotiations with Russia because it will become part of European Union member, yes? Thus, it will be more and more nuclear threats with the nuclear weaponry and such more and more pressure. And with the politicians like Meloni and other politicians, it will be more, it will be, it will be becoming, from the financial point of view, depicted as more and more hollow till Ukrainians are gonna settle for something which is going to be enforced through the government services from the top down to the bottom through the social struggle as a must to do. So this is a completely complete ripoff, sale, treachery against Ukraine, against Ukrainian people, and foremost against European Union member states, against the NATO member states, or I should say NATO allies. I will not support. This is not basically what I worked for. This is another sham, this guy here from the GOP, this guy, this Ramaswamy. He is doing this stuff to, to, uh, to take uh, 
the real blame from him to make him look more innocent than what in reality is. And, you know, it will be recorded in historical documentation. We have people, they're going to list as a reason why in the Wikipedia is going to be written why the Ukraine lost, you know. And, you know, what is going to be written? You know, this kind of stuff is going to be written how there was not enough ammunition. It was, it will be written the conflict in Gaza that was the one that took the Ukraine down and that kind of stuff. That's what, that's what, that's what the real neo-Nazis in Brussels and in Washington DC are going to be using to excuse this crime against humanity, destroying basically entire Ukrainian nation. The news that you see right here, a Russian missile strike turned Ukrainian medal ceremony into the bloodbath was involved in MKUltra. So in case that this was a real bloodbath, in case that this was a real Russian attack, in case that this was a real issue, because Zelensky claims that know nothing about this issue, if this was the real issue, you have to arrest beginning the Zelensky. If it was really a number of what is known even as the best of Ukrainian elite soldiers and so on, you do need to issue immediate arrest warrant for Mr. Volodymyr Zelensky because he was involved in it. I testified that this was one of the subject, subjects Vladimir Zelensky knew about, and there was actually, not there was a reason that was near front lines, but there was no fucking reason to gather the elite soldiers, trap them into something like this, and literally trap them into a trap, into, into a certain death, if this was the truth. Now, if this were the elite soldiers who caused big losses and it's just a death certificate that will be issued to these people fake death certificate that's a different issue but if this is a real death a real tragedy then you have to arrest this individual per asap today right now you have to go and get him and grab him get the substitution that is going to assume responsibility for these actions This, all the way, this stuff, not this one here, not this one here, even if this stuff is fake. You understand me what I'm saying? If this stuff is fake, it are just fake death certificates that are being issued for the, for the sake of the security, future security of these people that fought the war in Ukraine. This shit creates a blur picture. It takes reality away, and it's completely, completely indifferent from the issue which I demonstrated you earlier. Like this guy here, Ramaswamy, referring to Zelensky as a neo-Nazi. Zelensky obviously is, neo, is not a neo-Nazi. When we say that you're a neo-Nazi, you, you're, it's, it's the kind of issue that's being used to take the suspicions away. So Zelensky, to me personally, started to stink as hell. And I don't know whether you bother how much you guys have created this kind of emergency response in case things are going to go wrong, are going wrong at the front line, 
but if things do go wrong, uh, wrong on, a, on a front line, you do need to trigger this alert. You do need to alert the world that things are not as they should be. Hopefully, that you're not part of the controlled uh, opposition, you know, that possibly exists inside of the Ukrainian government. I don't know anything else I would say to you, but my love with Zelensky might be actually much, much closer to the end than what I initially, uh, you know, supposed. Because the news is just not somehow even matching with what I stated to you. You know, where they brainwashed me with this uh, net of independent journalists, independent Ukrainian media, on how they're going to treat an alarm independently if they're not, if they will realize that it's not being properly um, led, the war, the front lines. Uh, I, I started to suspect that this was just a manipulation to keep my guards down, basically, to keep me silent about it. This latest action from Zelensky, you know, look at the Gaza, you know, uh, and, you know, this kind of transition into, you know, still capable of battlefield achievements, this, these are two totally different things. This is, this is like, same guy fucking saying totally different bring it up after three weeks he brainwashed us that all attention is directed toward gaza uh is now you know he shifted from what i stated total obligation to to liberate entirely ukraine entire ukraine to still capable like what the fuck? I mean, are you serious? I'm I'm ringing you alarm, guys. I don't know if you exist or not, but if you don't exist and uh, this whole thing was just a brainwash, complete brainwash, all the way down that you already have made a decision on uh, how you're going to run this. I don't know. Maybe then I have no idea what to tell you. Then make the world know that Ukraine will forfeit. But I don't understand this shit anymore about what goes on. I did this to alert the world about Western God, basically. And I did a really good job pointing out on how Ukraine is being manipulated into a trap, psychologically destroyed, demoralized, and where this is going to take the rest of the Ukraine to. In this video, as I stated, I want to alert you about completely other issues. These issues are pertaining already to the leadership of Zelensky. I'm not happy with this kind of leadership. Look, I don't know really what's going on, what's happening. And I know that European Union membership inside of the European Union could be substituted with a special status of Ukrainian state at European Union, so that the citizens of the Ukraine could match the rights inside of the European Union as to those of natives uh, and or, you know, in respect to the trade agreements they could have with European Union, so they could, they could, it, it would be beneficial for them. But this issue here as a membership of the European Union definitely is not going to save Ukraine. It definitely will bury Ukraine. It definitely will destroy. It will destroy indefinitely Ukraine. And it's also being used for Zelensky to bail himself out, even portray himself as a successful. It's a fucking disgrace to lose the country the size of Texas. Mecca of grain, basically where grain is being produced basically for the entire world almost, exported to Africa, to Russia basically, to lose this to Russia. It's a disgrace for Ukraine to lose a place like Crimea, eastern part of Ukraine. It's a disgrace for Europe. It's a disgrace for those that claim that NATO exists, that European Union exists.
this is the worst of the worst. I, I actually I cannot see this this. Um, I, uh, I I don't I don't find the words for this stuff. I, I am I am really really uh, shocked in respect to transferring that we got from the European Union and from United States of America from the NATO. I'm disgusted with what I see basically. What the hell is this supposed to mean here? That we are on a track to deliver military results? This is a fucking disaster. I don't know what to tell you. We could be closer to the war than um, what I possibly could have imagined. Uh, the Charlemagne Prize to Zelensky, unfortunately, will not save uh, Ukraine. This was given, what, five months ago? So today I want to know how much did you even apologize the Charlemagne Awards or whatever chic society you presented with at that, that location. Thanks for watching this video.